and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, Kari Bazana. If you're not, so na zuwa banya si suchesa. But anyway. Um, today's on a Friday. I woke up at six. It's around now. Let me go and zoom. It's around nine thirty right now. I'm taking some time over here. So I'm headed to the hospital. I want to get my first pap smear ever and get some other tests done. So I um, currently I'm on Dennis Street. I stopped by at Magenbi because I wanted to get something to drink because I didn't have breakfast. It was too early when I woke up. So Kawaida, my black coffee and to wake me up. It's gonna be a long day. And also I got some eggs and chicken. Yes, that's what we're having. So as you all can see, I have a fresh face on. I just love it when I don't have to wear makeup. Honestly speaking, this is my favorite. So I'm here, I need to go in. Hey guys, we are here and like I said, there's the rose package that's happening. I'll link everything below. So be sure to check it out. And yeah, let's go and get ourselves checked out and tested and uh, everything that goes on. I'm sure we'll learn a lot of things, me and you together. But yeah, let's do this. I'm good. I have a meeting with um, no, an appointment with Dr. Diana. Okay. Yes, just tell her because she's here. All right. Okay. Well, going so from a car, you know how we do it. I'm just here to, you know, have a candid discussion with my friend Andrew. We're going to talk about a lot of things. Me and hospitals, we're like this for the very first time. I decided I want to get a pap smear at 27. But it's never that late but yes andrew will be telling us more of um this whole we'll just have a discussion like literally we're hanging out in the hospital okay. <laughs> hi andrew that's 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 what you have my morning um surprise uh -huh. what, what comes to me now since i saw you i know and yes um uh -huh. i'm really happy that you came and took this initial first step yeah. um i think sexual health and over and above not just sexual health mm -hmm. just looking at your reproductive health in general from pap smears to um, you know, screening for any diseases mm -hmm. yes, it is paramount because mm -hmm. what you don't know will harm you, mm -hmm. and, and that's important for us to be able to reiterate and emphasize. Mm -hmm. um, at Riverdale Medical Center, we decided to come up with a package mm -hmm. um, called the Rose Package yeah. that has um, your pap smear, mm -hmm. just as you mentioned, and we'd like to just quickly reiterate that uh, between the age of 21 and 29, actually, so your smart dad will answer it, but like we're not saying how old she is. But yeah, everyone knows. Leave, leave, leave that bracket. Um, okay. It's actually yeah. recommended that mm -hmm. you have a pap smear done at least once every three years. Mm -hmm. And um, the other silent infection that we will be looking at mm -hmm. um, in our rose package will be um, chlamydia, mm -hmm. um, gonorrhea, hepatitis, mm -hmm. and herpes simplex, mm -hmm. which, um, as you may, you may or may not know at this point in time, are pretty endemic within our population. Mm -hmm. And within that reproductive age, where most um, ladies might be, you know, trying to have children and, all, and that sort of thing, you do not want to have any issues in your sexual or reproductive health mm -hmm. that might lead to pregnancy losses yeah. or that might lead to um, any damage to the fetus in its first three months. Mm -hmm. So that's part and parcel as to why we decided as an institution mm -hmm. to institute this mm -hmm. um, to be able to just safeguard the sexual health and reproductive health of the ladies in that age. Do you think that for most people, um, especially young ladies, um, or mm -hmm. even men, let's say, they have this idea of, you know, going to get this done, like, it's better to ignore until maybe they have the symptoms or until it gets bad or I'm just uncomfortable, then that's when I get to go to the hospital. You get a lot of that, like, I felt some type of way, but I was like, it's not serious. So, they so know. It's a great question. Um, mm -hmm. As I mentioned and reiterated, what you actually don't know will harm you. Mm -hmm. So some diseases are silent mm -hmm. um, in terms of how they might present. Mm -hmm. You might find that uh, you have things that tell me inflammatory disease with chlamydia that has decided to cause um, irritation on the fallopian tubes. Mm -hmm. okay? And uh, this could lead to long term is that um, you may not be able to have the egg even from the ovary down 
um, to the uterus as well. Ah. Or could cause you to be pregnant with that. Um, when we're pregnant with this baby, we're not secluding the uterus as well. Yeah. Um, and cause other complications. So it's important for us to catch any infection early and to treat it. Because most STIs are easily treated mm -hmm. um, if caught early mm -hmm. and will not have very many long term um, significant implications. Mm -hmm. So I say to everybody, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, please, um, it's important um, to try and get your sexual health checked mm -hmm. every so often. Go to a place where you trust the healthcare provider. Um, there's no judgment. Um, we will treat you with utmost respect mm -hmm. and give you any information that you require yeah. and feedback as such mm -hmm. um, on everything from how to break the information down to your partner mm -hmm. to how to bring your partner along yeah. um, should they need to to be able to do um, any of these um, health checks mm -hmm. um, together as a couple. Mm -hmm. So it matters. Mm -hmm. um, don't fear. Kindly come <laughs> and get sleep. But let me ask this, if yeah. you've never been sexually active, um, is it still recommendable for you to get a pap smear or, you know, come and get checked or once you start getting sexually active, you need to get this done? So that's a great question. So uh -huh. yes, when the, the moment you do get um, sexually active, mm -hmm. um, it's paramount that you do get checked. Mm -hmm. And that's why I say between the ages of 21 to 29, once every two Three years. years. At least, but between 25 and 29, you can actually get the HPV test done mm -hmm. as well. And the HPV um, test is basically looking at the virus that causes cervical cancer. Oh, okay. um, so, if you're not sexually active, what we recommend is that you can get the, um, the vaccine against mm -hmm. cervical cancer and mm -hmm. offer it here to the medical center as well. Mm -hmm. um, I think you noticed that the government has a program that has rolled out yeah. as well for, for, for teenagers to get uh, the cervical cancer vaccine. Mm -hmm. So if you test and found that you do not have the HPV vaccine, mm -hmm. you could you could you could have you see our gynecologist mm -hmm. and they will give you more information on um, the, the vaccine for um, cervical against cervical cancer mm -hmm. and any further information you'd like. Mm -hmm. um, basically on, on STIs or how to prevent yourself from here against cervical cancer mm -hmm. or how to safeguard your sexual health mm -hmm. in this world. And I'm like I, I feel for cancer sometimes people get to find out they do have it later on when because it just doesn't happen and then you start getting the symptoms right it takes a lot of time yes so it's a, in the case of cervical cancer mm -hmm. um by the time you're catching it in the early stages mm -hmm. the symptoms may not be too, too, too significant you'll probably catch it upon the pap smear mm -hmm. um, at that point in time or you might notice perhaps maybe some bleeding after sex or, 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 or some of those small small things that, that some people might ignore. Mm -hmm. By the time cervical cancer is really, really spread, it may have taken some time. But it's a cancer that's simple to manage mm -hmm. if caught early. Mm -hmm. And that's what really matters. And that's why this rose tracking is so important mm -hmm. for us to be able to reiterate re and emphasize. And we encourage all ladies to come pay for it. Mm -hmm. um, we are our doors open at any, at any point in time for yeah. us to be able to consult mm -hmm. and to be able to offer you the type of services that you'd like. But um, there's something I wanted to ask. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Um, okay, of course, as young girls, I know you guys sometimes, you know, you go turn up and light it up and you get into, it's called what? Reckless sex, sexual behaviors and all that. And things do happen. You know, this is like things do happen. So for maybe the girls who have been out there, maybe they have used, um, let's say, P2s to prevent pregnancies yeah. or they've been on contraceptives, but they've never really gone to... Uh, gynecologist to get you know prescribed you just go okay personally you don't end up a chemist you're like mm -hmm. there's this i saw it i want to go on it because i don't want to get pregnant yeah. and also there are other drugs people use like sterile to you know push forward your know, medicine and all that yeah. do all these um different um we like call them medication or self prescriptions <laughs> you know do they have an impact when it comes to your reproductive health so um, I'll take this in two parts mm -hmm. um, for that question. So one has to do with um, um, sexual behavior mm -hmm. and the risk factor that it poses. Mm -hmm. So as you'd imagine, um, most contraceptives will not prevent you, except for condoms, mm -hmm. will not prevent you from spreading or catching mm -hmm. a sexually transmitted infection. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's so important that um, if you're engaging in sexual activity to be seen periodically, mm -hmm. to be able to have your sexual health checked to see whether you're carrying any infection mm -hmm. that can be treated early. Mm -hmm. um, the second part uh, on contraceptives in general, mm -hmm. 
I would definitely let you know that um, see a gynecologist mm -hmm. um, based on the situation that you're in. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, they would they would prescribe and let you know very early mm -hmm. what contraceptives would work best for you in your scenario. Mm -hmm. There are those in stable relationships, there are those who are in marriages who perhaps a longer term contraceptive um, based on when they want to get their children would work. Mm -hmm. um, emergency contraceptives is precisely that. It's only used for emergency settings. Mm -hmm. And as such, emergency contraception is not regular contraception. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's paramount for you to be seen by a regular OBGYN. Mm -hmm. And that's, that, that's how 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 that's get the rules package and they get checked out and see whether they've been infected with someone maybe or a partner who's a carrier and they had no idea so you know good question uh -huh. some stis do not um say for instance um have the symptoms mm -hmm. um when the immunity comes down okay mm -hmm. um then that's when the virus might um you know manifest and uh, you might get the small um in, uh, the small what's called um particles along the reproductive area mm -hmm. And you may not see them initially because you've been there until the immunity comes down. Mm -hmm. But if you're able to see that you have the antibodies, mm -hmm. it's worth knowing how it is that you can prevent, um, say, you spreading the infection by um, using condoms and that type of thing. Mm -hmm. And the problem with such viruses is that they, 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 they carry life long. So you could have recurrences of um, attacks on um, have the same sex virus mm -hmm. going forward. Mm -hmm. Some diseases, as you mentioned, like, say, chlamydia may yes they may change um things like uh, the discharge uh, that you might see on your pad or on your mm -hmm. however mm -hmm. if left untreated mm -hmm. you will definitely cause you secondary infertility years on oh. so you need to be seen periodically to make sure that none of these things are affecting your immediate reproductive health mm -hmm. and for your partners as well i think it's super important mm -hmm. that you know i mean sex it, 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 it at least has history yeah sure. so it, it's it's important Mm -hmm. for us to know that uh, both partners can be treated mm -hmm. and for you to if you find out that you have an issue you can very quickly alert your partner that I think you need to get treated or see yeah moving forward okay yeah. so let me ask this um, of course you know using condoms it's important especially yeah. if you're trying to prevent you know yourself from getting pregnant yeah. but talking about condoms there are so many different types of condoms right now yeah. right now which are out there and anyone can access them from anywhere yeah. um, Okay, I've heard of cases, I'm not sure whether it's true, but someone was like, I, I'm allergic to a particular brand of condoms, yeah. and uh, they're like, eight, okay, I talked about kitoko kwa allergic, let me not go into details, people know what people use those things for, yeah, yeah, yeah. but um, do you feel like as much as, yes, you're maybe using different things, you still need to get checked, because you never know what particular brand is doing to you, because you're the one who's in contact with it as a woman. Okay, so again, two-part question. Okay. Also. So, correct and consistent condom use mm -hmm. for sure will prevent you from getting any pregnant. Any, both pregnancies, but more importantly, it's spreading sexually transmitted infections oh, to, yeah. different, to, 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 to different partners. Mm -hmm. So, you have more than one partner. Mm -hmm. um, secondly, yes, there are a subset of uh, people who are allergic to latex condoms made from rubber. Mm -hmm. latex. Mm -hmm. There are those who have latex allergies. But that those the, depending on the condom brand mm -hmm. that you use, you might have seen some condoms have um, lube that has perhaps a um, tingling sensation. Mm -hmm. So depending on what the lube has, mm -hmm. some people react to those lubes mm -hmm. and that, that coat the condoms. Mm -hmm. So you might find that um, your allergy is not necessarily because of latex, but because of what the lubricant has. Yeah. Um, for this uh, special lubricant that you might find over the counter, mm -hmm. not the usual plain um, lubricants mm -hmm. that are recommended for condom use. Mm -hmm. So what I'll say is this, condom, correct and consistent condom use is important. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. um, both in prevention of your pregnancy yeah. and for spread of sexually transmitted infection. Mm -hmm. um, if you are having allergies or issues and you suspect that it's perhaps condom use, I'd, I'd, I'd recommend that you come in and see the gynecologist mm -hmm. to be able to have a more candid discussion mm -hmm. and to see what options there are. There are actually condoms that are non latex based as well in the market. Mm -hmm. And they use something called polyurethane, so it's a plastic um, form. They are still effective in preventing both spread of um, sexually transmitted infection mm -hmm. and spread of um, 
and then also um, prevention of medical problems. Ah. Yeah. So there, there is a market. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Now they know. I know information is key. You see, this is why I was doing this. See, I'm with my friend, and I was like. If I try to explain to you these things, you won't really understand. But you see, it's coming from me that is giving you more details. Like I said, I ain't no doctor, but he's the one who's <laughs> doing the whole thing. Literally, I was just here to, as a lab, I was representing you out there. But thank you so much, Dr. Andrew. Well, as scientists, I know like, it's been insightful. I've learned a couple of things which I didn't know. Okay. Pretty sure you guys can learn a couple of things. Opportunity for comment section, like you know, let me know what one. Like, um, are you gonna try this? Are you afraid of this? But I'm gonna be sharing more on, on um, my journey after the pap smear, during the pap smear on YouTube, and also be sure to check out you know Riverdale. Of course, they offer a lot of services. I'm gonna attach the whole thing um, after this video, so you will see all the different things which you can come in and see. Just go to their page, follow them, and see what's happening. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Chairman, thank you so much. Uh -huh. Thank you, Tracy, once again for a lovely visit. Hello. This was ambushing you. Thank you so thank much you for deciding to do a video with me. <laughs> Anytime. Um, uh -huh. As I mentioned, I mean, um, guys, for real, these things are important. Uh -huh. So, whatever Tracy has just mentioned, and I'm happy that she got it out and decided to have this video. Uh -huh. um, guys, drop us whatever questions that you want. Yeah. Um, my team and I are more than happy to answer anything that you'd like. Us to answer, and mm -hmm. in case you have anything else you'd like to ask us in future, please feel free mm -hmm. to ambush us once again. I will definitely. So, we're done for this one. I will see you guys in the next one below. Mweke is on a sorry, ask whatever, don't feel shy. Don't have to be sharper, but it's okay, it's good to know. Anytime, what you say, what you don't know will harm you, yes, and what you know, you can prevent it and survive it. True. Now, you go. <laughs>
Yes, I'm getting the blood taken for the other test that um, they come with the package. So it's a lot. Like literally, this is the very first time I'm literally taking care of me, loving me enough to you know get myself checked and do all of this um, procedures. And I don't like needles. Of course, you saw that when I was getting the fever shots and I was crying. But in a case, I've been in a Kuzoya. Well, I'm just from giving out my urine sample. Blood has been taken, so I think that's just about it. You know, they have all the samples they need, so we're going to wait for the results to come back. Then I'll be back, of course, for you know to be told and explain for what the results mean. And I'm hoping for the best, but um, yeah, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video and do subscribe and I'm going to see you in the next video. Remember what you know cannot harm you. No, what you don't know can harm you. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for watching and be sure to check out Riverdale. I'm going to um, attach below the link to their YouTube page, their Instagram page and facebook page and you guys can go and check them out and see what you need so like i said um this was just because of the package that they have the rose package that's why i was here today but i have so much to do there's there's so much i'm gonna be doing from here because i they just have everything that i need you remember i told you about my tooth problem it's gonna be handled here so keep it love. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Sending you love and good vibes. Bye-bye. Be safe. Be safe. And check out the package and get yourself checked out. Take care of you. Love you.